it's possible to report on multiple AF elements or units in a time-based RT report. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. I'm already in the editor and I'll go to File, New, and I'll do a time-based report. We can use the same recurrence pattern as we did in the previous example. which was a recurrence pattern of uh, every day uh, starting at 6 a.m. And again, that's only enforced by the generator, not when you test the report in the editor. I'd like to re uh, report on for my 24 hour time period, in this case, all of my heaters that are in my AF structure. Whether there's two or there's 10, I want the report to automatically report on all of them. And you could put some more constraints on that as well. So what I'm gonna do is under time, I'm gonna right click, insert, and do an asset context template. And here, I'm going to search for what assets are important to me based on the template name. So I'll click on this. and I want everything that is made from the heater template. And I'll click OK. You can add in some more search criteria, asset name, root path, but that's actually just the one I want there. Go ahead and click OK. You can see here now I have a heater template. Within the heater template, there are some journal actions I might wanna do, specific information about the heater. So let me right click, insert journal action, and I'll add in an action parameter. So it's going to be an AF attribute since it's in an element. And I need to pick an attribute related to the heater unit. So I'll go in here, go to one of my heater units, and I want the total current. And I'll click OK. I want the relative path. So depending on which of the heaters that I'm actually looking at, it brings in the appropriate attribute from that heater. And now I can continue to configure my journal action. Maybe I'll add this as a new trend. This is my total current. Drag that over to my data source. And this is my heater total current. I'll go ahead and click OK. And there's my journal action. Let me go ahead and test this report um, to see what it looks like in the journal. So go to View, Test Report. Select my AF server. My start time, I'll do a star minus 24 hours. Again, the recurrence pattern is not enforced in the editor when testing. And I'll click OK. If I go ahead and look in my journal, If I go under journals, there's two asset context journals. The first one is related to, and you can see here, heater unit two. And the next is related to heater unit one. If I go inside of one of them and look at the journal events, here's the journal action heater current, which corresponds to this here, my heater current. And there should be one terminal state, which corresponds to the trend, and that's that value here. Now to report on this, I would use an iterator. So let's go ahead and do that. In the format template, I'll add a new section. And then here in the entry is where the iterator is going to be. So I'll go ahead and double click on that. Under expressions, drag over asset context journal, click OK. And then within the entry, I want two things. I want the text, uh, the name of the heater, so that'll go under source. So if I open one up, I'll do heater unit. And then let me say insert, and I'll add in a trend. And the source of the trend is inside the journal event. It's down here at value. 
and I'll click OK. And let me go ahead and refresh, and we'll look, take a look at the report. If I go over to the report, there's heater unit 2, heater unit 1. And then once the trends load, here you can see heater unit 2 and heater unit 1, the two total currents using the iterator. Now I can add in things like my line break, so I'll insert text, add my line break in, drop that in between. And I might want them sorted in a certain, certain order. So if I go back to my data template, under heater template, I'll say ascending, click OK. And we'll go ahead and refresh. They flipped the order, and now it says heater unit 1, heater unit 2, and the two corresponding plots. So now you know how to report on AF element equipment in our T-reports.